you. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning Live video. Today, I'm on my backup account. I've got a bunch of cards that won't sell. Some of them are pretty high overalls. I'm going to trade them all in, see what kind of crazy trades I can get today. We're going to do increased quantity. I want to get as many offers as possible. Um, I don't think any of these guys are worth much. I, I'm going to search on my main account. That Jason Castro, about 10k. Nishak, 4k. Smith, about 8k. And McGee. McGee's actually 24. Okay, but you know what? 55 overall doesn't scream excitement. We're going to get more proposals. Alright, so, you know, this at least looks better. Um, although Tozawa is probably worthless as his 16 edition. Actually, his 2016, oh, and that has a fork ball. Uh, it retails for 52, and there's none on the market. So we actually got a good trade offer there. Belial, um, you know, he'd, he'd sell for at least 10k. And McAllister is in the 20 to 26,000 range. So we're going to take Tozawa, excuse me, Tozawa, who doesn't look that great, but that is actually a very good trade offer. We'll now line up our next set. I am skipping Irvin Santana because I'm saving him for my twin squad. All right. We're going to get three. Well, we're going to get four offers in the 57 to 70 overall range. All right. Uh, I'm almost certain that Chris Heisey is effectively worthless. Yeah, there's... 27 of them in the market for 10,000 each. Utley, base edition, only one on the market at 24,000, but that's not enough to make us lose our pants. Wilson, uh, under 20k, and Jackie uh, Bradley Jr., I can search for him. I'm going to have to search for Jackie. So Jackie Bradley Jr. is... There's there's 32k, but there's a lot of them on the market. So we're going to we're gonna go. We're going to get three more proposals. And uh, we've probably got junk. Rodriguez. That's his base edition. Yeah, like 7,400. Wilson from the Orioles. 14K. He's actually going to be our best pull, I think, because that Heisey. Yeah, so we're actually going to take Wilson because he's worth the most and he'll sell the best. Uh, all right, so we're going to cut away when we cut back. We'll have more trades. And we're back with part two of this trade-in video. So what I did, I went, I bought 45 uh, season best players off the auction house for 10,000 coins each. We're going to trade them in nine at a time, getting our four offers at a time. Um, we're just going to see if... If this is profitable. Is that, I guess that's really the question I'm trying to answer. Uh, I guess really is it practical to trade your players or not? Carter Cap. Worth about 8k. Joe Roth. 
price is coming down. Not worth trading for. Liberatory. I think it was tough to spell on its own keyboard. It's about 41k. 40 to 50k range. And then Pierce is pretty common. So we're going to receive our proposal one more time. So we get Romo 10k card. Tigris. Another 10k card. And Liberatory. We'll take Liberator. Uh, kind of the best of a bad situation. Create our next nine. And we're just trying to get the best trade offers possible. I don't think any of these are going to do it. We've got Koji. Is that Koji is actually 30 to 40k. But, I mean, if it's not profitable, let's just keep going. Ahmed, not worth it. Garcia, 14, 10k. And Kroll, I'm almost certain that Kroll's a 10k. Yep. So we're going to go, we're going to get three more offers. Vargas is... Ten K. Yep. Darren as in Darren O'Day. Twelve K. And then Brett Cecil. Brett Cecil, not on the market at a average player value of sixty nine thousand nine hundred and seventeen. Not quite a profit, but very worth picking up. Now we've got our last nine, Chris Heises. Ah, dang it, I forgot to get the extra offer. All right, we know Garcia is worthless. Gasali also. And then Reyes. Reyes is actually almost 50K. We're going to get two more offers. Ellington. About seven and two. Two. 281,000. What a trade offer. Um, I know it's not possible to always have like I do. I've got my extra device on me to see the value of these players when I'm trading. Dang it, I forgot to get an extra offer again. I was just so excited, but anytime you can, you really should. McGee, 14. Gregorio, if I wouldn't typo him. That's, that's what I like about the uh, scouting, is you can... You can, like, search and see if it's actually worth buying any of the players. Gregorio is 6K. Goslin. 11K. We're going to get two more offers. We get Crone and Boar. I don't know about either of them. I'm almost certain Crone's junk. Yeah, Crone's junk. Boar. Also junk. Or is slightly better, so we'll take him. Now we've got our final nine trades. Nine. Ryan Flaherty's. We will remember to get four offers for our last round. Alright. Uh, we know Segris is worthless. Solaire. 20k. Not really worth it. Is 
that was his 15th edition, it would have been 90k. I probably would have taken it. Matt Adams. Uh, 2013 edition, 10k. And Eddie Rosario. He actually, I think, is worth a decent chunk. No, he's 14k. We'll get three more proposals to end this video. And guys, I, we just hit the jackpot. Now, it's only a small jackpot. It's not a great player of the month, but you can get player of the month trades in trading. Um, I absolutely did not expect to get one. O'Day's worth 12k, Whitgren's worth 4k, and McHugh, 333,000 coins. So we did profit, or at least break even on these trade-ins. However, it seems pretty risky to me. I don't think my long-term success would be the same. Smash the like video if you enjoyed watching these trade-ins. I really hope you did. Um, subscribe if you're new for more MLB Perfect Inning Live content, along with other random mobile games here and there. Um, comment if I should do another one of these. And if so, what kind of trade-ins you'd like to see. But I am G. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, and as always, peace out.